Hey guys, welcome back to the Beef and Barnsley Show. Today we have got another ball review, this time the Rotogrip Duo. This is uh, Rotogrip's newest HP3 release. It's a 249RG 046 diff. It's got the, to quote Schlem, the exact cover of the exotic gem on it. So hopefully it'll be an interesting piece for me because the exotic gem is often a little too strong for me. Um, it's quite early and very angular. So I'm hoping that with a little bit less diff and the symmetrical core, I should be able to use this one quite often. Um, we're here today at Mel's Lone Star Lanes. We're gonna bowl one game on the house shot. Um, I've got to set the uh, stuff up. So there will be a cut coming up, but uh, yeah. Um, let's see what we're doing. Uh, this is available May 19th. Um, new core, like I say, exotic gem cover. Looks like a disturbed, how can we go wrong? Let's go. Yeah, forgot to say, I've done my usual five and a half by four by three layout, which is roughly a 60 by five and a half by 30 on the dual angle. So let's get after it. Okay, so we got the lane set up. Um, this is a house shot. It's got a couple of games on it, but nothing major. Um, the, the back ends here do tend to hook quite a bit. So let's see what this will do. Well, can't get much better of a start than that. Oh, here she is. So yeah, where would I see this fitting? Well, from the information I've got so far, Sounds like it would be a good compliment to the exotic gem, but things don't always work out like that. So let's throw a few more shots and get a better understanding of what it does. Ooh, like that continuation. So for someone like me, who doesn't really use the exotic gem that often just because of how strong it is. I tend to prefer to use the infinite in that gap because it's a little smoother. I'm fascinated to see if this will be a good compliment for me off the phase two. Um, oh, that was nice and forgiving. Now, as I'm super organized today, I don't have either the exotic gem because when I left the house, I didn't know that this had the exotic gem cover on it. And I don't have my phase two either, well prepared. But I do have a few balls to compare with. Um, lots of people think, Chris being one of them, that we have a lot of balls with high diffs. Yeah, with really high diff. So everything, uh, a lot of our balls have like 050 diff. Chris likes those smaller core balls. But right now, he kind of only has the choice between the, uh, the IQ range or kind of hustles and burners. So to have something that has a stronger cover stock on it, but that kind of 043, 045 diff, I think is going to be something that's a unique piece in the setup in the arsenal. And if it keeps continuing around the corner like this, then we might have something really special. Okay, so front four, we'll keep kind of bowling like this till we miss, because, you know, everybody wants to see a 300 in a video. Um, once we miss, we'll start moving around the lane a little more. Couldn't convince the pins to stand up, even talking about 300. So another thing uh, that's really cool about this ball is um, this is a partnership between big brothers and big sisters, which in the Beef and Barnsley world is um, one of the favorite charities of um, our sponsor, Firelight Bowling Center. They always do a really big event for the Prime with big brothers and big sisters. So that's super cool that we're kind of joining 
on the Storm thing. Storm's always giving back to the community. Um, the Paint the Lanes Pink has been going on for a long time. So for the Rotogrip brand to finally find some charity to uh, be involved in and it being such a good cause like the Big Brothers and Big Sisters is really cool. On the bad rack. I am kind of liking um, how clean this one's getting through the front, even with it being such a low RG of 249. I, I think earlier I might have misspoken and said 247, but 249 the, uh, in 15 pounds. We're still alive, seven in a row. So the house shot here, I believe is 42 feet. Um, generally when I bowl on the house shot here, um, for reference, I use, the last time I bowled, I used an absolute and then a phase five. So it's not like I'm using particularly weak balls here, just to give you an idea. That needs to go. Ah! Too much talking, not enough bowling. Okay. So, dropping our Platinum Ford Spare Ball. Ooh, we didn't do that pin much justice. All right, so front eight, spare. Let's move another good step left. Throw a little slower, see if it'll get through the front. Ooh, maybe a little too ambitious. Okay, let's try that again. We ended up with a 253, kind of an odd number, but let's try that again. I think if I want to do that, probably going to want to get into something a little higher RG. Um, let's, uh, let's go the straighter route, see what it does when I'm a little straighter. I think this is where this ball is gonna shine, to be honest. Low RG, lower diff. Whoopsie. This is what happens when you don't, when you don't plan the video. That was way too far left. All right, give me a couple of shots to get lined up with this. Wow, they are way tighter there than I expected. That ball was hooking more than I expected it to. All right, third time's the charm. There we go. All right, let's uh, I give the uh, IQ Ruby a little bit of a throw. Okay, so I'm three and two right of where I was when I was striking previously. As you can see, that's definitely a little cleaner, a little less motion down lane. Um, Quickly, we've got a fate. I would imagine that the fate's the one that I can probably go to that spot all the way to the left and it'll get around the corner. See, higher RG, 
It's only a little bit higher RG, but the higher RG in the fate allows it to come around the corner. So, so what do we think? Duo should be a good complement to the exotic gem. Symmetrical version, same cover, less diff. Um, for me, I see this kind of fitting um, around a Zen. I would think uh, in my arsenal, it would probably go something along the lines of phase two Zen and then the duo. Um, it's available May 19th. Thanks for watching. If you click the link in the description below, um, it will take you to Bowlers Mart, one of our sponsors, where you can pre-order this. This really helps the channel out. Uh, so, um, we get a, uh, an endorsement or a royalty from selling that. So affiliate program, that's the word I'm looking for. So anyway, May 19th, check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.